Hi, this is Larry Troca. Just a quick explanation for what's about to happen. You're going to see a short clip of two horses doing a flying lead change in both directions. After that, I'm going to break it down so the technique I'm about to show you is crystal clear in your mind. Neither horse is trained to do a flying lead change. This is just a simple test to see if they have a natural aptitude to change leads. If they do, it's a good sign they have the talent. Now with that said, let's get started. Okay, here's our first horse. And the main point of this video is how to change leads on a horse that hasn't been trained to change leads. Um, this horse in particular, yeah, he's worked cattle, but you know, he's never had much dry work done to him. You know, he doesn't know how to change leads. So you're gonna see him change for the first time today, right here in this video. Now, you know, pay attention to how I'm holding my reins. He has a curb bit on, but I'm holding my reins like you know, I would a, a snaffle bit. Um, and the reason is because this horse really needs, you know, two hands to set him up right to get the change. Now we're going to ask for the lead change when his hind end is in the air and his front end is on the ground. And at that, at that part of his stride, that's when I'm going to lift the reins to make contact and use my outside foot to ask for the change. And this asking for the change when his front end is on the ground and his hind feet are in the air, it's kind of a big thing. You know, that's the same timing that we use to get a hind quarter stop. So it's important for you to get that timing. And we're going to, you know, we're going to kind of explain what's going on here. And I'll do a little stop action and, and kind of explain some stuff. But okay, let's get started here. Okay. Right there, you see I'm starting to, to raise my hand. Now, I'm going to go straight up with that, with that contact. Um, I'm not going to pull back. I'm going to go up because I kind of want to lift his front end a little bit. And I'm going to do it when his hind feet are coming off the ground. Now, let's go forward a little bit. His hind feet are, his hind feet are on the ground right there. I don't want to make, make the, the contact right then and there. Okay, so right here, his hind feet are in the air, getting ready to come forward, and this is when I'm going to ask him. And we could ask him right there and still be fine. The main thing is that we got to ask when his hind legs are free so that we get a, a hind end change first. If he'll change leads behind, he'll automatically change leads in front. But the opposite way isn't always true. If he changes in front, he may not change behind. So that, that's why it's important to get that hind end changed first. And if we do, the front end will just automatically follow. Okay, pay attention here. So you can see I've taken his head a little bit to the right. We've just loped a left circle and we're about to change leads and then, then go into a right hand circle. So I'm kind of setting his body up for the right hand circle before we actually change leads. Now this isn't necessary on a lot of horses, but I felt it was necessary with this horse. And again, the timing is gonna be when the front end is on the ground hind end is in the air. That's when I'm going to use my outside foot, press him with the spur, and then, then release. So we could ask him right there, hind end is in the air. Okay. And this is where I actually do ask him. Notice my, notice the bit has the shanks have come back and the reins are, are, are tight. You know, I've made contact. I've actually lifted him a little bit right there and then used my left leg to ask for the change. Okay. Here's the black horse. And on this horse, I have a curb bit on him also, except I've got the reins in one hand. And, um, 
again, you know, he's never changed leads before. He's my turn back horse. No need to do flying lead changes, but uh, we're going to try it today. And again, what we're going to do is just, you know, in, at the right part of his stride, I'm going to lift the reins, make contact with his mouth, and use my outside foot to ask for the lead change behind. And if he changes behind, he'll automatically change up front. And I should point out, you know, this is a, a basic training method to test the aptitude uh, if, to see if the horse has the aptitude to change leads. If we can get him to change with this simple method, then, you know, it's going to be a piece of cake to get him to change when we get into the more advanced stuff. Matter of fact, in my uh, training videos on my website, you know, we go into a lot more detail, um, a lot more sophistication in the training method, and it really works good. Matter of fact, I actually show you a couple different training methods to get the job done. And I'll, I want to point out, on just about all my training videos on my website, we show how to get the job done on a really green horse as well as a, a farther advanced horse. But a lot of the videos are done on, you know, horses that aren't trained very well. They're green. And, yeah, I did that on purpose because most people don't have a really polished, really trained horse. Uh, they need to see how to get there. And so I, that's why I, I made a big deal out of showing how to get everything done on a green horse and then advance him, you know, to the to advanced stuff. All right, let's continue on here. All right, we're getting ready to change leads. So right here, he's getting ready to roll over his lead front foot. So his He's in the left lead right there. His lead front foot, which is his left front foot, is on the ground. And you see his hind, hind feet are in the air on their way forward. Okay, that's, that's the body position where I want to ask him for the lead change. That's also the body position where I want to ask him for the stop. Now, in a split second, all four feet will be off the ground. And I could ask him th uh, at that part of his stride also. But it's, but either way, his hind, his hind feet have to be free uh, so that he can actually make the change. And if, and if we have to, if we happen to be stopping, his hind feet have to be in the air and free to shoot up under his body. That's why this timing is so important. Okay, let's go on here. So right here, we, all four feet are off the ground. And, I, you know, I could ask him right there and it would work fine. Watch as the reins start to tighten up. Rolling over his lead front foot right there. Right there. Gave him the slack. Now he actually, actually let's stop for a second. He actually changed a stride late. Uh, I'm not going to get after him for it because he doesn't know how to do a flying lead change. You know, this is the first time I've ever asked him. Um, but he got the idea. So, you know, that's fine. Now, while we're here, pay attention to my free hand. Um, my rein hand is carried in front of the saddle. And I kind of try to match it with my free hand. My, it, my arm is at kind of like a 90 degree angle, bent at the elbow. And my hand is closed, but it's not clenched tight. And we're, we do this because we want to present a, a pleasing picture for the judge. Um, if your elbow's flopping around or your hand's moving all over the place, you know, it, it doesn't look good. Um, you know, some people kind of you know, flap their elbow up and down like a bird flaps his wings. And boy, that looks bad. You know, you sure don't want to do that. But you also have to look relaxed while you're doing this. You know, uh, you want it to look good, but, you know, it's got to look relaxed. All right, let's go on. Okay, right here, you can see my elbow is close to my body, but I don't have it clamped to my body. It's just in a relaxed position. Okay, you can see my hands are in front of the saddle. You know, that's how I'm asking him to keep loping. My body's leaning forward. Those are all, all right, we're getting ready to change right here. So let's stop it, go stride by stride. So let's, let's pay attention to when I lift my hand to, to lift the front end and ask for the change. Now also notice my feet are really close to the horse's sides and they need to be close so that we can ask for the change at the precise moment that his stride is right, okay? If, I'm, if I have my feet away from my horse, you know, I can't hit that timing. So that's why it's important to have your feet close to the horse. And it's just gonna be a press and release with my spur, that's it. I'm not gonna jab him or, or, or 
poke him, it's going to be a press. Okay, my hand's coming up. Okay, so right there you see my right foot. I just, I just pressed him with it, and we're getting ready to release it. I released it right there. Hand forward to keep him loping. Okay, let's stop the video so I can give you some additional information. What you just watched was a short edited clip about training for flying lead changes. If you'd like the complete picture of how to train your horse to do good lead changes, get my video titled, Teach Your Horse Flying Lead Changes. It's available on my website. I'll leave links in the description box below. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. And you can leave your comments and questions in the comment section below the video. Oh, and don't forget to go to my website and get that free membership. It'll give you instant access to all kinds of good stuff. I mean, you'll learn a bunch. I'll have a link to it down below also. Okay, wait for the next video to pop up and click to watch it. That's all for now. Take care.